I was super. I was. I was super sad to see Aaron and Archer go. He's a big threat. I would not want to go against him in the finale. No, so I'm I mean of, that's what I was about to say. That yeah. it's sad to see him go, but it's a blessing. Yeah. To see him go because he was, I think, the biggest threat on Blue. I think so too, um, because when if you get him in the finale, now all of a sudden. We don't know what the finale is going to be, what the challenge is going to be, but they but would have it, to modify stuff, and it could be an advantage for him or it could it be could a disadvantage, be disadvantage for him. But I wouldn't want to risk that. No, and, absolutely not. And he's he's strong, he's fast, he's smart, and I just wouldn't want to go against him. Mm -mm. Nope. But a stand up guy. <laughs> oh yeah. What a good dude, man. Yeah. And. I mean, just for the few moments that we got to hang out and talk a little bit, just a great, great, just a great guy. Yeah. Just helpful. Always willing yeah. to help, talk, Absolutely. whatever. I mean, when we were out there playing, he knew I have, he knows I have a brain injury. And I don't, I can't count how many times when we were out there on the field playing soccer, he would bounce over to me like, hey man, you good? You had good? I'm like, I'm good, brother. Thank you, man. I'm good. You know, so yeah. just checking, I mean, checking on the other team. Yeah. Because he knows my medical history and my background. He's like, cares enough to... Yeah. Check on me. I mean, that's cool. Yeah, he's awesome. And so, he played a hell of a game. Played a hell of a game. You cannot take any of that away from him. <clears throat> yeah. He knocked it out of the park. And I, I'm glad that Jack didn't get voted on his birthday. Yeah, that would have been a crappy birthday. That would have sucked. <laughs> but I tell you, Jack and Shelby, they couldn't have a park pass. They, they went in that room tonight. They went in the room, so we don't know. We what, don't know. It when, Yeah, if they have anything at all. If. And they were forced to be reckoned with, too. They're if strong. there is another park pass out there, they have it. Think so. Well, they're, well, they're, they're the, the only ones, ones that, that have, have, not, yeah. have been in a room and not revealed. Yeah. So. So we're the only ones that know. Did they or didn't they? That we have ours. So mm -hmm. in everybody else's minds, there's two out there, potentially. potentially. They, everybody knows there's one out there. There's for one for sure. Sure. Yeah, everybody knows that. But no one knows who's got it. <laughs> no. And I am so glad we got it because I don't think we'd have a chance to win without it. Yeah, because no, I, we I I I think that the team, the other two teams on our team, mm -hmm. see us as a threat. I don't think that they think that they can beat us, mm -hmm. and I think they're gonna come after us. I think so too. And we're gonna have to use the park pass. I'm fully prepared for them to come after us tomorrow. Me too, but it's okay because we take out one of them, and then we battle the other one, and we get to the finale and let the chips fall where they may. Yeah. And hopefully the blue team takes out their strongest people on the way too. And we get to fight against somebody that we have a shot against. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> but they, all three over there are strong. Yeah. All three are going to be hard if we if we get the chance to if battle one of them. If we get to the finale, them, it's not going to be easy. No, it is not. Mm -mm. They might wipe the floor with us. They right. might. <laughs> well, and the, and the team at RV Unplugged, they're not going to make it easy. No. I mean, absolutely. you've seen all the challenges. Which kind of, you look at me like, how hard can it be? But until you do it, you don't realize that they've been hard. I think you're gassed now. Just give it a minute. And uh, well, here we go. Another day. What is it? Day seven. Seven. Day seven. Yeah. Did you think we'd be this far? No. I didn't. <laughs> Honestly, I did nope. not think that we would be this sure far. Did. Our goal is to not be the first one out. And <laughs> and now I think that we're going to make it to the final four, unless there's a crazy twist. I think we're. I mean, we're locked in pretty much. I think. And here's my speculation of what's going to happen today. I think that there's going to be a challenge where each team is going to have to eliminate somebody and I think whoever wins on each team is going to hold the power because there's only three couples on each team so whoever wins the challenge today because the other two teams would just vote for each other mm -hmm. so whoever wins will hold the power or on our team they'll at least think they hold the power if it's not us yeah so if we win we can just pick who we want we don't even have to use the park pass yeah. that'd be the ideal situation yeah but in the event that one of them does win they will think that they hold the power mm -hmm. and they'll probably choose us and I would say I would say whoever wins if it's not us and they come after us we just take them out yeah for coming after us that'll <laughs> learn you that'll learn you <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they want to give me? Oh, no, 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 no. Well, maybe we can't. If they won the challenge, yeah, they, might be immune. they might be immune, and then we would just have to go for whoever lost. Yeah. I don't know the rules. So, we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, interesting. See how it's all going to play. We, we might not be able to decide who we're going against. We might not. 
but um, we'll try to. <clears throat> if we do get to decide, we we haven't decided yet. No, and I honestly think it's going to be a last minute decision. I think so too. I don't think we should be deciding anything. Yet. No, nothing in haste. No, I think we need to really take our time to think about it, see how the day plays out. Yeah, so we will let you know as it plays out with us. Here we go. <laughs> well, we thought this morning was going to be a little more dramatic than it was. Yeah. Oh, they scare you when they're like, hey, let's go just do something fun. Yeah. You're like, <laughs> so we go out there. No. I'm expecting like the, the first challenge of the day or we knew we had to go out and film Aaron and Archer's departure. Yes. And uh, so we came out there and they're like, this morning we are going to treat you to some donuts. And I was like, what's the catch, man? Are there bugs on these donuts? Yeah, like what's cricket going donuts on? <laughs> or like a donut eating contest or... It's like inflatable donuts that we have to like, yeah, I don't know, you know, I all... Are we going to have to make donuts to compete? It's so like, crazy how your mind, when you're in this game... They mess with your mind so much. No matter what they say, you're like, you're playing out 50 scenarios <laughs> immediately in your head of what's going to happen. Yeah. It was just donuts. They truly just took us out for donuts this morning. Yeah. So, <laughs> anticlimactic. Today would be the last day that anyone would be able to use the changing lanes pass. So, but it doesn't seem it doesn't, that it's even possible no. to do it because they need to eliminate one from each team. Yeah, there's three on each team, so there's really no need to pull anybody from one team to another. It would just, even if today was only a single elimination and it went down to three on one side and two on the other, if you pull one over, it's still three on they one side and two on the other, so it wouldn't make any sense. Yeah, they would cancel each other out. Yeah, because the any other sense. team would just that, use it. All right, we'll pull ours back, and then, <laughs> well, what was that for? Yeah. So I think we got lucky and unscathed with that changing lanes. Yeah, and we were just talking about this. Like this game is there's there's strategy, yeah, and there's skill, mm -hmm. and then there's just dumb luck. <laughs> and we've had we, a little bit of all of it. We, I was about to say we we fell in some yeah. dumb luck a couple times. Yeah. Well, we are certified pit crew. We are not certified. It says it right here. It doesn't say certified. But it's it's in, implied. Certifiable, maybe, but not <laughs> certified. <laughs> it was a fun day. We had a good day. Yeah. We started the day pretty nervous. We already talked about the donuts and all that stuff, but yeah. we didn't know what was coming. Later on, we assumed it was going to be, well, we thought it was going to be a, a double, a double elimination, elimination today. today. And so we went out to the Auburndale Speedway. Yep. Which we didn't know where we were going. No. We pulled into the speedway, and I'm like, oh, yeah, Right baby. up your alley. Racetrack. Yeah. Let's do this, you know? But it wasn't racing. No. <laughs> well, it wasn't at first. No. We started with, uh, what is it? What is it? Super Steer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I forgot what the name of it was. <laughs> we did the Super Steer install challenge, and we had to install this stuff in an hour or less. Yes. And then they tempted us. Yes. Because there was extra, there was there was some components that had like duplicate components, and that was, those were the components that we were competing with. Yes. Because that's what was equal. The but there top. was some extra stuff that just it couldn't be done. It was a one person yeah, job. Yeah, one person job. So th they took that and went like, okay, let's do a extra challenge Spice with that. Spice it up. Spice it up. So if yeah. you can install this. In and so what was it twenty minutes? Twenty minutes. Ours was, was twenty minutes. You could get a shower. Yeah, you could go to the bathhouse and shower. And get a shower. <laughs> so that was tempting. It gets added to your time. How long it takes you to install is how much time gets added to your yeah. time. But we were really good on time already. Yeah. And we felt like it was worth it. It was worth. <laughs> the, it was worth the risk. And we talked to Tommy. Yeah. The the guy the installer and he's the son of the, the, the owner. owner. Mm -hmm. It's like a father and son thing, and he's like, "Yeah, it's doable." Yeah. We didn't want to like take any risk with having to get eliminated yeah. if it wasn't worth it. He's like, w "You, you, you're you good." It. Yeah. Based on the time that we already had on mm -hmm. the clock, and so we're like, "All right, we'll risk it." Yeah. So we did, and we got it. Yeah. So we get showers. Woo! <laughs> oh man, like a long hot shower <laughs> is gonna be awesome. Yeah, it's in a bathhouse, but yeah, that's. But Leslie's like, I will bite the bullet, and I will take a long hot shower in the bathhouse. I have bathhouse bath phobia, but <laughs> I also want clean hair, so. Yeah. <laughs> and they tempted us again. Yeah, they said that if we... That big bar. Did yeah. that together as a, as a team, 
blue and red together. Purple. Purpling. <laughs> we did a little purpling yeah. together and okay. got that done in, in 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Then no one was going no home today. No elimination today. So that was great. Yeah. So we busted our ass. <laughs> yeah. And so basically I, I pretty much did the install on my own. So you're welcome everybody for not having elimination. I'm basically like a independent suspend. I'm basically like a what is a super steer? I'm basically a super steer installation technician at this point. But not. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I could do it. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, because and I was worried because when I was up under there, my part. I thought he said to put the washer because you had I had to go bolt washer up, right. up, but I thought the washer went in the middle and then the nut, but the washer was supposed to go on the other side and then the nut mm -hmm. because it was different on the sh on the shocks that we did. Shocks were different. Shocks were yes. different, and so we went to do this. I got a sway bar, or whatever it was. The the washers went on differently, and so when I put mine on there, me and um, Tom Tom Mitch were working together. And so we got ours messed up. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, I'm going to screw this up and there's going to be an elimination. You and, screw it up? And what? then if I screw it up, we're, they're, we're definitely going to get voted for. <laughs> because they're going to be like, you screwed it up. Yeah. <laughs> but we were able to get it out, yeah. get it fixed, get it back in, everything good. We made it in time. Nobody gets eliminated today. And then we went out to the track for the coaches challenge. Yeah. That's when they pulled a race car out. I'm like, oh man, the coaches are going to get to drive a race car, but not me. That sucks. But it's going to be fun to watch. <laughs> but it wasn't the race car. No. That was the bus. Was the big old bus. Tour of destruction. Yeah. And that was pretty cool watching Phil and Stacy rolling around the track. Yes. In the bus. And, and Team Stacy and won. And Stacy had the fastest time. And that was just for bragging rights. There was no privilege or anything like that. No. But it was lots of fun. And it's just fun being at the racetrack, no matter mm -hmm. what's going on. And then they call it the, the individual challenge, and I'm like, oh, we gotta win this because there's gonna be some immunity or something yeah. for tomorrow's challenge, and we gotta like. And then he's like, all right, I need three drivers from each team, and I'm like, oh yeah. yeah. But then I was actually, I was like, you should drive because <laughs> I've driven a race car before. Yes, you, you know, have. you got me the NASCAR driving experience for my birthday one time, and I was like, I've driven a race car, so even if it's a race car, it'd be cool for you to have that experience. But you're like, no, go ahead, you do it, yeah. and you were pretty tired. I, w I was ready for the day. It was a long day. We I showed up done. there at about noon, no, 12.30. 1 o'clock. 12.30 12 12 we, we showed there in the afternoon. And we didn't get done until... 9.45. It was 10 o'clock right now. We just yeah. started. We just got back and started filming. So we were there a long time yes. today. And so you were like tapped out. I can't drive a stick anyway, so it had no appeal to me. So I was like, okay. So they got the three drivers out there, and they're like, oh, yeah, you're going to race, but you're they're not like, driving. Bless your heart. You thought you were really going to drive a car. So it was a foot race. Speed walk. But with a hook. With a catch. With a catch. So they gave us these <laughs> costumes, these ridiculous costumes, <laughs> inflatable costumes. Yours was so fitting. It was spot on because I do it the T-Rex. A guy in camo. Yeah. It was like a raptor. On a raptor. Yeah. Like your two things. So that's my yeah. I do that all the time, so yes. that was like my thing. And he was in camo, so he was like a soldier riding a T Rex. It was yeah. very cool. And then I was like, is this like for you know, what is this for? What do we, we get? get? A prize for winning. But it was for bragging rights too. So it, yeah. that was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And it's supposed to be speed walking blue team. Blue team was running. Blue team ran. And blue now I get to the finish line less it's like, why were you running so slow? Yeah, I was like, what is your problem? You like, just got beat by three girls. I was like, he said speed walk. <laughs> they were all running. Yeah. I followed the rules. I'm a rule follower. Now, if it had been like for something, I'd have been like throwing flags. <laughs> or I would have just started running and I, and I would have killed them all. But I played fair and I lost gracefully. And then my raptor ate me. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> It was a fun day, and and because there was no elimination, that means we're around for at least another day. We keep saying it. But tomorrow's got Tomorrow, to be a double elimination. Double elimination but it has to be. Not for us. Yeah. <laughs> Unless there's a terrible twist we don't know about. No, I think we're, it, we we're, should I think be we're okay. In. I think we're locked into the final four, no matter what. And, yeah. But tomorrow is the... I think there's going to be a double elimination tomorrow because they said tomorrow is the last day that park passes will be in play. Yes. So they're going to get us down to Final Four tomorrow. Yeah. But we get to sleep in a little bit. Thank God. 
hot. Because tomorrow, the start of the day, they're just doing interviews, you know, cast interviews yeah. and stuff, and catching up on some of those kind of filmings. Yeah. So thank God for that. We won't find out until the afternoon what our challenges are going to be. Yeah. And I don't know if there's going to be individual challenge or coaches challenge tomorrow, but we know there probably will be an elimination challenge. Yeah. But we're ready. And but we're still going to try really hard. Yes. Because if we, we can win it, then we have 100% control over who goes away tomorrow on our team. Yes. And we want that. Yes. We want to be in control. Yeah. I'm a control freak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but if, you, if, you're, if you're enjoying this, if you're liking these recaps after the episodes, watch the episodes on RB Unplugged. Yes. And then come over here and watch us. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Mm -hmm. We'll keep hanging around for as long as we can until we're eliminated. I honestly can't believe we're still here. <laughs> I thought we were going to film like two of these. I thought we were going to film like two of these and be like, all right, that's it. See you later. Thanks, thanks for thanks watching. Thanks for having us. <laughs> but we're still hanging in there. Yes, we are. Yep. Oh, man. Like a bad itch. Mm. Just won't go away. <laughs> <laughs> that's one way to put it. Yeah. But hey, uh, stick around for a few more seconds. Mm -hmm. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.